Welcome everybody to ladies and gentlemen to Charlotte, North Carolina. We are back with some more shootout. We've got a lot to talk about after Gold Rush and a lot to talk about after Deuces Wild. But with all of that said, your new Lone Star Champion has got something to say. Thank you. 
Well, folks, I, for one, am quite happy for Duke Zenda yes, to finally win in that championship. It's been over three years as he's been a part of SWF. So congratulations to Duke. But let's start this night off right. Making his way down to the ring. This is the greatest vice. He is teaming up with SDC in Deuce's Wild Tag Team Tournament. SDC and Vice actually drew the first seed, so we're able to get a first round bye. They are facing John Robb and Ryan Adams in the Rap and Rock Connection. Now, we're going to have to see how it transitions, how well Vice and SDC do. They've had time to scout literally every team in the tournament. While they sat back and, and automatically advanced to the second round due to that first round bye. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. But tonight, Vice is in singles action. Now, if you don't know what Deuce's Wild is, go back, check it out. It is our tag team tournament to crown the first Gunslingers Championship. Every member of the roster, we brought in three people to kind of even out these teams and uh, make our roster capped out at 30. Every member on the roster is in a team and is in this tournament. After the tournament, they're going to have the opportunity and the option to stay with their teammate or they can go their separate ways. This is not binding now unless that team wins the championship. Then they will have to stay together. Vice's opponent opening up shootout here tonight. Also in the tournament, lost in the first round. Darkness Falls is Kid Hades and this man, Lord Draven. Draven and Hades lost their first round matchup to Ebony and Ivory, Omari Williams and Jackson Montgomery. And the smoke fills the arena here for Draven. Draven is also in singles action, of course. Now, like I said, Draven and Kid Hades have the option to stay together as a team if they wish. If not, then they go their separate ways and continue their singles careers. So some of these teams, um, uh, of course the champions, whoever ends up being the champion, we've got the Birth, Coda Fish, and Keith Lee that will stay a team. We have the Fallen Kingdom that will stay a team, of course. Um, Thriller in the Clutch, which is Siler Jordan and James Frost and the Sons of Carnage, of course. So, lots of uh, lots of teams available to us, but we want to keep those teams up high. Brett Storm and Duke Zenda teamed up, and they lost their first round matchup against um, the Birth, where Duke Zenda ended up. Or, yeah, Duke Zenda ended up tapping out, I believe. And Red Storm and Duke got into each other on Twitter. Quite the, the battle. Go check us out on Twitter at SWFederation underscore 2K. And Draven filling the arena with fire. My goodness. Well, these fans are ready after what we saw at Gold Rush. Vice and Michael Draven. Look at this. Oh man, dropping Draven, or excuse me, dropping Vice hard down onto the mat. Nice judo type throw from Vice, and Draven's gonna dodge out of the way. Oh boy. Electric chair. Look at this. Oh man, dropping Vice hard onto his head. My goodness. And now look at Draven. Just huge knees right to the top of the head. Oh my God. Massive, massive knees. So Gold Rush was a successful pay per view, I believe. Brett Adams, or excuse me, Brett Storm and Ryan Adams went at each other. Brett Storm a little upset, not getting the opportunities he thought he should get in SWF. After that victory at uh, Gold Rush. Puma says, you will be on every card until the next pay-per-view, which is Southern Stampede in Mobile, Alabama. 
Red Storm, of course, won that matchup. Next up was Amari and John Robb. The savage John Robb has been on a tear. Him and his teammate, Ryan Adams, advancing uh, in the first round of the tag team tournament. John Robb gets the victory over Amari Williams. And then McKay, Leo McKay, and Kid Hades. Oh, man. Graven gets the knees up. Oh, look at this DDT. Probably one of the better moves here in SWF. Power body slam, excuse me. Leo McKay and Kid Hades. Kid Hades getting the victory. After last season, having shot after shot at the Rebellion Championship and not gaining it, he gets the victory over at Leo McKay. Sons of Carnage and the Fallen Kingdom. Six-man tag. Sons of Carnage picked up the victory there. And then Seb Abbott takes on Jay Wolf. Now, Seb, oh, here's Ben. Seb Abbott has teamed up with Leo McKay, Leo in the sleeves, in the tag team tournament. Jay Wolf has actually teamed up with Sons of Carnage member Ryan Riley, and they won that matchup. So, Seb Abbott, Maverick champion, going into Gold Rush. Jay Wolf won his number one contendership through eight man tag, or excuse me, uh, eight man battle royals, and then defeating Bruiser Brad. He got the shot at the Maverick Championship and won. Well, over the top goes Vice, my goodness. And Draven now fired up in the ring. The ref begins his count at one. So with the Maverick Championship, we're going to see Jay Wolf in action later on this evening. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Draven going to that well a few too many times. Gets his head kicked off by Vice. He's going to battle out. Ref at four. Back in the ring go both men. Oh, big kick to the head and a... Oh, nice little head scissors move. I like that. Vice rolls out. Pretty wise move there. So as I said, Jay Wolf in the main event tonight. He is the Maverick champion. He also holds that Maverick championship has another special caveat to it that it can be used to cash in at any moment for the SWF Lone Star Championship. So not only are you the Maverick Champion, but you also hold a shot at the Lone Star Championship whenever. So once that happens, another tournament will be involved to get the Lone, to get a Maverick Champion. I'll talk about that more with our main event this evening. Nice elbow there from Draven. He's got Vice hooked up. Double underhook. DDT. And going for the pin. One. Two. Oh my goodness. So close. And now Draven is heading up top. What's he doing here? Oh man. Laid out for that moonsault. And Vice dodges it and Draven lands flat on his gut. There it is. The blue thunder bomb from Vice. And he gets the victory. That moonsault proved to be the end for Draven. Wow. What a matchup there to start off shootout. Great, great match between Vice and Draven. Draven off the top rope lands flat on his stomach. And Vice hits him with the blue thunder bomb. Your winner of matchup number one here tonight is Vice. Coming up next is another singles matchup. It is Mason Foster making his way to the ring now. He is still part of the Fallen Kingdom, but has decided to kind of venture out on his own. So in that tag team tournament, he was paired with uh, Alex Corzo, where they won their matchup, which is unprecedented that a team who didn't want to be together to begin with, they won. They beat Elliot Collins and Hunter King. And they will face off against Ebony and Ivory, Amari Williams and Jackson Montgomery. But Mason Foster coming down to the ring now, looking to get into that singles action here on shootout. I'm quite excited 
uh, for some of the matches we have here tonight. Hunter, or excuse me, Mason Foster. I'm interested to see how he does without the backup of the Fallen Kingdom. He seems pretty confident that he will go far. I am, I am ready to see that happen. That's for sure. Mason Foster, ladies and gentlemen. Mason's opponent this evening. One half of Tropical Storm Romance. Lance Romance and his partner Daniel Storm ended up being defeated by the Rock and Rap Connection, which is the Savage John Robb and Ryan Adams. The Lance Romance strutting his way down to the ring. So far, these two guys um, haven't done that well here uh, in shed on shootout. Both men are 0 and 2. But I'm interested to see which one of these guys comes out on top. Somebody's got to win. So we're going to record a win for one of these gentlemen. All the other will stay winless. Who is it going to be? The newly venturing out on his own Mason Foster. Lance Romance bringing in Daniel Storm as a tag team partner for the tournament. Now Lance and Daniel, since they um, were not victorious in the tournament, they have the option to stay together or not as a team. We'll let them decide on that. Lance Romance, everybody. God's gift to SWF and the ladies. And the ladies. Mason Foster. Lance Romance. Let's get this thing started. The ref rings that bell. They meet up in the center of the ring. Nice dragon screw. It looked like Lance was going for a, a move up top. Foster was able to get down. Look at the size difference. And just the physical difference. Oh! Between these two men. Lance a bit taller and quite more muscular, but does that really equate to being better? Who knows? I don't think so. I think whatever happens, happens, and your physical appearance really doesn't have anything to do with that. And, oh, man, chopping him down. Look at that nice move to the knee. Foster now up over it. Man, he almost went outside the ring. Waiting for Mason to get up to his feet. Nice left-hand jab off the ropes, and they bounce off each other. Lance trying that left hand a little too much. Look at Foster working the legs. Oh, man, rolling through and then turning on that knee. Foster really focusing on the legs now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Lance holding that knee and in pain my gosh and look look at Foster just completely chopping down the big man that's how you win you focus and you keep at it look at this oh my gosh the ref might have to call this one if Lance isn't able to stand oh man big powerful clothesline there so the technicality of Mason Foster kind of overwhelmed at the physicality of Lance. He's on the top rope and geez, goes for a knee drop and Mason Foster says, it's time to put you down, man. Oh, misses the sweep and Lance back in the ring. Lance went for that knee drop off the top and missed. Further adding to the pain of those knees. Oh, and Foster with the pin. One, no. Just a one count. My gosh. Oh, knees across the back of the head of Lance. 
He says, everyone listen. Big neck breaker from Mason Foster. I want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors here, Hot Tag Pins. You can get all of your wrestling lapel pin needs. Figure four locked in on Lance Romance. And of course, our other sponsor, Blackwire Authentic, making all superstar t-shirts. Go check them out as well. Mason Foster, look at this. Look at the strength. Whipping Lance Romance around. Helicopter, excuse me, yeah, planes, airplane spin. And then dumping Lance. Center of the ring. Quickly goes for the pin. Two. Oh, man. Mason Foster wanting that three count. Again, working over the knees, working over the legs. Lane's not having much of an offense here. Look at the dragon sleeper. It is a rope break. His foot was underneath that rope. Uh-oh. Look at this, got him up. Oh, drops him hard down onto the mat. And again, going for the pin, one. Two. Oh. This match has pretty much been all Mason Foster. Playing to the crowd, and they seem to love it. And Lance now, big shoulder block. Looking to possibly build an offense here against Foster. As he's been pretty much having to play defense. Dropping Foster right on his head. Quickly goes for the pin. One. Two, no. Just a two count in Lance. Cannot believe it. Uh oh. This might be it for Foster. The power and strength of Lance. Whoa! Well, I was going to say may overpower Foster, but that is not the case. Another swinging neck breaker to Romance. One, two, and a two count. Does Lance's physical appearance play into the stamina and the momentum of this matchup? I don't know. The legs have got to be in severe pain. Oh, dodges that move that time. And a backbreaker to Mason Foster. Lance's legs have got to be hurting. All the punishment he's been dealt by Mason Foster, plus that miss off the top rope to the outside. Big clothesline there from Lance. Ducks down. Over the top. Foster now stumbling right into a big spine buster. Lance picking up Foster. He's got him up again. Dropping the knee. Dropping the head right across his knee. One. Two. No. Right at the number two count. Foster is able to kick out. Back body drop by Foster. He's going to pick Lance up. Big super kick. Look at this. Into a German. Nice move from Mason Foster. He's going to use that. Yes, go down for the pin. One, two. Oh, wow. Wow, Lance doing anything and everything he can to stay alive in this matchup. Fireman's carry takeover. And Lance is cranked. Foster up on the ropes now. Oh, my goodness. Lance sends Foster outside. He is going to try it again. Off the top rope. And he lands it this time right across the chest of Mason Foster. Foster's not having this, though. Oh, he's busted out. Lance open. Fireman's carry reversal. A right hand reversal by Foster. Reversal of the kick. It looked like Lance was trying to get back in the ring, but Foster's not having it. The ref at the count of five. Six now. Oh, and a big knee to the chin. Oh, right off the dang turnbuckle. The ref counting 
to eight. And he Foster and Lance back in the ring. Foster going for the pin. Lance busted and bleeding. Just a two count. And Mason Foster, what do we what do we gotta do? We busted this man open. We slammed him into the turnbuckle post. And look, all that punishment to the legs might pay off right here, and it does. Mason Foster, ladies and gentlemen, able to tap out Lance Romance. My goodness. What a battle that was, and Foster did everything he could to get that victory working over the legs of the much bigger Lance Romance. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Mason Foster. Coming up next, folks, is another singles matchup, but it involves two teams that have been at each other for at least two seasons here in SWF. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by James Gaines, it is Jesse Newman, the Sons of Carnage, coming down to the ring. James Gaines will be in the corner of Jesse Newman as he takes on Malcolm Black of the Fallen Kingdom with Bruiser Brad in his corner. Now, Sons of Con Carnage faced off against uh, Jay Wolf and, uh, and fellow Sons of Carnage teammate Ryan Riley in the tag team tournament. And Wolf and Riley ended up getting the victory over Sons of Carnage in that tournament. I'm thinking anybody having to face Bruiser Brad or Jay Wolf, kind of in a, in a bad way. So look, look at Malcolm Black, dear God. Bruiser Brad is cranked. And Malcolm Black is ready, folks. He's got the war paint on. And Bruiser Brad is fired up for his teammate here. Now, as it seems to always happen, Bruiser Brad is going to be facing off against Jay Wolf in this tag team tournament. The Fallen Kingdom versus Blood Moon or Dogs of War, whatever you want to call them. Jay Wolf and Ryan Riley, so I'm interested to see how that plays out. But right now, one-on-one -on -one action. Jesse Newman taking on Malcolm Black with their tag team partners in their corner. How is this going to play out? We're going to find out right now. Center of the ring, Malcolm Black starts things off with a big neck breaker. Newman dodges the kick. Look at this. Oh, man, Russian leg sweep there. Theatrical. Big shot to the head. Malcolm Black looks terrifying with that crazy face paint on and his all cut up pants. Look at Newman. Uh oh. Flipping him over and face first goes Black. Newman, though, quick to pick him up. Shoulder block by Malcolm Black. See Jesse, or excuse me, James over there cringing a little bit. Big clothesline into the corner. And now Newman is blatantly choking Malcolm Black. Let's go before the count of five. Oh, rolling him over quickly, going for the pin now. Just a one count. Bruiser telling the ref to get his head in the game. Oh my goodness. Pullback, neck breaker. That is a pretty big one there. Both men coming way off their feet. Oh, boy. Look at how Jesse's body is torqued. Oh, and he stomped on the elbow by Malcolm Black. Dragon screw reversal. Jesse back up to his feet. 
Oh, and a big kick right to the jaw. Uh-oh. Look at this. Oh, look at that. James holding the knee. Oh, and a big clothesline. James holding the leg of Malcolm Black. Distracted him for just a second. And Jesse catches Black with a clothesline to the back of the head, but only gets a one count. You got to pay attention to where you are in the ring, folks. Let's close, or excuse me, uh, neck breaker there from Black. Shot to the midsection, though. A chair has been rolled into the ring by Bruiser Brad. I don't know if the ref sees it. Oh, boy, this might be bad for Malcolm Black. Cutter, center of the ring. The chair didn't come into play, but it still might. Bruiser Brad up on the ring apron. The ref not getting over there and breaking this altercation up. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, nice little head scissors there. It looked like Jesse was rolling completely out to the ring. Oh, and he's, this time he does make it out side the ring. In pain. Following him now comes Malcolm Black. Neither one of their teammates are coming over. That's throwing some pretty good restraint. You don't want to get kicked out. And here comes Brad. As the ref counts to three. And Malcolm Black headbutts to the wrist area. Oh, goes for a chop and misses. But he's going to get Black and roll him back into the ring. That chair... Still in the ring. Now Black right on top of it. Forearms to the face of Malcolm Black. Oh, on top of the chair. I'm not quite sure if this is going to count. Malcolm Black kicks out anyway. Look at Jesse Newman. Brad, help your partner out by stopping that nonsense. Jesse Newman has taken the turnbuckle. Off the corner, oh my goodness. Malcolm Black hard into that top turnbuckle. And here comes Jesse, no. Reversal from Malcolm Black. And, oh he's got him in a, he's got him in a chokehold. Got the one arm behind his back. Malcolm has got that thing in tight, but is it tight enough? It doesn't look like it, and Jesse Newman able to get out of it with an elbow right to the eye socket. Ref finally getting the chair out of the ring. Jesse Newman drops down hard across the knee of Malcolm Black. Into the corner, and Malcolm with an elbow to the face. Center of the ring. Oh, man, Malcolm Black with the neck breakers. And the referee looking to be fixing the turnbuckle over there. Big left hand. And Jesse now getting distracted by Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black could have used that up to his up to his advantage. Oh my goodness! And he looks like he does. Quickly going for the pin. Just a one count. So far, oh man, face first goes black. So far, it's proved that uh, both of these teammates have helped their their partners in the in the ring. But now we're about to see a double foot stomp. That might be it. He crawls over for the victory. Bruiser Brad gets up on the ring apron and stops the ref from counting. And, oh boy, look at this. Stomping the fingers of Malcolm Black. If you can't grab your opponent, it's gonna be hard to get any kind of moves going. And Malcolm Black, it looks to be completely out of it. Foot DDT by Newman, he is exhausted. He is tired, not usually in one-on-one -on -one matches where he has the opportunity to tag out. Not slowing down against Black, though, and big DDT 
And Newman, or excuse me, James Gaines is happy about that. And a three count after the DDT gives Sons of Carnage member Jesse Newman the victory over Malcolm Black. Here is your winner, Jesse Newman. Jesse Newman is fired up. He is going to see his teammate Riley taking on his uh Taking on Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black, so we'll see how that comes out in night two of Deuces Wild. Well, folks, doing a lot of talking about Brett Storm this episode, and here he comes right now. Brett Storm on Twitter, really going after Puma and SWF. Um, not giving him opportunities he feels he deserves. Not giving him the chances he feels he needs to become uh, successful here in SWF. So, Brett Storm was on the pay-per-view beat Ryan Adams, and that was his first step here in SWF that they've given him the opportunity. He is on every card now until Southern Stampede. And that, that promise is, uh, was brought to fruition here. He, so not only was he on the Gold Rush pay-per-view, not only was he teamed up with Duke Zenda and at the, the first night of Deuces Wild to take on the berth, he's now here on episode five of Shootout and the promise is being fulfilled. So he is coming down very slowly, might I add, to the ring to compete in action here tonight. Here tonight, excuse me against another person who has uh, not had the greatest, well, I say this uh, pretty much about everybody who's in this situation, but not had the greatest go of things here in SWF so far. He is a new member, and that is Elliot Collins. Elliot is 0-2, but with Brett, Brett Storm's recent victory at Gold Rush, he is 1-2. So Brett coming in with a little bit of, a, of advantage. Um, Elliot Collins was not at Gold Rush, but his last matchup was in the go-home show of Shootout, where he took on the Savage John Robb and was defeated. So Brett Storm here, ready to show why he belongs. Ready to show Puma, ready to show the SWF. He means business. Coming down to the ring is his opponent, as I mentioned, the New Jersey Devil and Elliot Collins. Elliot Collins teamed up with Hunter King, Elliot and the King, at the first night of Deuces Wild. And Elliot and the King faced off against Los Welsh, which was Alex Corzo and Mason Foster, where Corzo and Foster picked up the victory there. Uh, knocking Elliot and the King out of the first round. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the New Jersey Devil, Elliot Collins. And now he's here. He's going to show his medal here tonight and see if he can't pick up a victory over Brett Storm. Now, Brett Storm should by all accounts, win here tonight. We'll have to see what happens there. Collins making his way down. Collins, uh, I'm uh, happy that he's here in SWF. As I said, he is a new member of the roster. He has uh, faced off, as I said, against Savage John Robb, where he lost that matchup. But the last time before that, when we saw him, he was in the very first eight-man battle royal in the very first episode of Shootout, where Jay Wolf ended up getting the victory there. So he was in that eight-man battle royal to crown a number one contender for the Maverick Champion. But being in a match with Jay Wolf proved to uh, be fruitless, if you want to say that, where he ended up getting the loss there as he just flat out didn't win that matchup. So, 
Brett Storm is ready to go and prove his mettle. Elliot Collins to do the same. Center of the ring, and Elliot goes for a kick. Ends up settling for the midsection. Look at Brett Storm. My goodness, over the top, belly to belly, and a drawbreaker. Brett ducks the clothesline and delivers a big elbow right to the chin of the New Jersey Devil and just picking him up straight from the ground. Storm drops Collins on his head. No hesitation from Storm. Oh, goes for a knee, but Collins sidesteps him. And a sling blade. But a jawbreaker reversal from Storm, and he hits him again with that big right-hand elbow. And, oh my goodness, really cranking away at the knee and the far left leg. Oh, and he slaps Storm off of him. Oh, and a big right hand. Again, ducking the clothesline. Brett Storm into the corner, and he goes for the knee again, but Collins sidesteps him again and immediately takes him down, delivering right hands. Storm might want to slow it down a, just a bit. A bell clap there. Uh-oh. Collins not able to lift up Storm, it looks like. Oh, man, and a knee to the midsection. Knee breaker. I think he's going to follow that with a dragon screw. Collins looked to be going for a clothesline, but L uh, Storm had that thing scouted. Face first into the mat. Storm into the corner. Oh, man, big shoulder block right to the lower back in that kidney area. And a big spear from Brett Storm. My goodness, quickly going for the pin. One, two, just a two count. Trying to get out of this thing early. Might be trying to rope-a-dope Collins here. Look at this. Big shots to the kidney and liver. And huge kick right to the side of the face. Gonna follow that up with work in the wrist. And then double knees to the back. He has got Elliott right where he wants him. Into the corner he goes and he falls down. What a hard shot into the turnbuckle. And again, picking Collins up. Oh, jeez. Straight, he's almost vertical. We're getting dropped down on his head. Storm now. Big elbow, no. Collins with the reversal. Oh my goodness. Full Nelson face buster from the New Jersey Devil. Oh no. Big cutter. RKO. And Brett Storm was near the ropes, so he was able to not get pinned. Got a rope break there. Collins, though, with the small package. Just a one count. And now Collins is in control of this matchup where it was all Brett Storm just a minute ago. Elbow to the face. Brett sends Elliott across the ring and takes out the knee. And the crowd boos in disapproval. Big clothesline there. Man, this crowd is not happy uh, with Brett Storm right now. Dragon suplex into the corner. Oh, down for the pin. Look at Elliot Collins. And even with the ropes, just a one count on Brett Storm. Oh! Oh, and quickly, quickly going for the pin. Just a two count. Looked like Storm missed the clothesline, but came back quick with one right across the back of the head. And there it is. That's the spear. And not going for the pin, but instead just begin to brutally attack Collins. He's got that, ugh, pulling on the arm while the other one is hammerlocked behind his back and double knees to the back of Elliot Collins. And are we gonna see it? I feel if Brett Storm hits this elbow, Collins it might be done. 
Down for the pin and hooks the leg. The ref, come on. One, two. Had the ref gotten down immediately, that might have been a three count. But Collins is able to kick out. And again, Storm hooking him up. Straight up in the air before dropping him down hard onto the mat. And look at this. Oh, jeez. Oh, driving the knees with all of his weight down into the mat. Collins with that kick reversal. He's got Storm up and a back body drop. Kips up. And Collins is on fire right now, folks. He is fired up. Sending Storm into the corner. Oh. Look at this. Oh, man, and a splash. Oh, and going for the pin. One. No. Not that simple, Brett Storm says. Curb stomp, though, from Elliot Collins. That could be it. Not going for the pin. Picks Storm up. Delivers a big clothesline type move and a leg drop. And an elbow drop. Good Lord. Storm in a bad way right now. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Storm out of it. And drops the leg across the knee. Of Storm. And now look at this. Oh, gosh. Really working. He is not done. Dropping the knee on Elliott's left leg. And goes for the pin now. Two. Just a two count. Storm. Getting these crowd, trying to get him behind him. Not quite sure how well that's going to work out, though. Oh, he went for another leg takedown, but Collins drops him, and Collins taunting catches a clothesline. But still takes the legs out of Brett Storm. Oh, boy. This is going to be the second one if he can hit it, and he doesn't. Storm pushes him away, dodges the clothesline. And a huge elbow lays Collins out flat. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Storm wants to know where the three is. That was incredibly close. Drops Elliott down. Storm did everything right in that sequence and was unable to get the three count from the ref. Jawbreaker to Collins. Oh, dodges the clothesline and still overhead belly to belly. Brett Storm making sure he's not bleeding. He's going to pick Collins up. Look at this. Oh, man. Right on the knees. He has been working those all match. Storm going to get him away from the ropes and just put the pressure on every limb in his body. Ending with a boot right to the face. Brett Storm going up to the middle rope now. Calling Collins up to his feet. Middle rope spear. And goes down for the pin. Two. Again. So close. Storm wants to know where is the three. Says fine. I'll set it up perfectly myself. Three elbows, and Collins is done. Collins is done. One, two. Yeah, you could have counted the 10 on that one. Those massive elbows, even though they have pads on them, right to the chin. Good Lord. Brett Storm is your winner. He is showing off and showing up. That is massive for him. Great job by Brett Storm and Collins out there on the apron. Not happy with his, his performance here tonight. Brett Storm is your winner. And here is our main event of the evening. Good Lord, the lights go down and the fire picks up. The crowd booing this man. He is your maverick. 
champion and as you can see there he is holding the briefcase where he can turn in that contract for the Lone Star Championship at any moment while giving up the Maverick Championship. Win or lose if Jay Wolf decides to cash in on Duke Zendar or whoever is holding the Lone Star Championship. Win or lose, he relinquishes the Maverick Championship. If he loses, he gives up the title. We have a tournament to determine a new champion. If he wins, he is the new Lone Star Champion. He gives up the Maverick Championship, and we have a tournament to decide a new champion. That championship is so small around the waist of, of uh, Jay Wolf. His opponent won half of the Freaks tag team. He tagged with Zach Graves, but in the end was defeated by Leo in the Sleaze. The Sleaze, of course, being former Maverick champion, uh, Seb Abbott. He is fired up. He has got a shot. Anybody catch his name? I don't know if it was up there three times or not. Jeez. Evelyn Reeves sauntering down towards the ring. He's got a big task at hand. This is not for the Maverick Championship, but he has got he's got a big obstacle in his way, that's for sure. Four times now. I'm gonna have to talk to the production truck and figure out just what the hell is going on. Evelyn Reeves is one and one. His uh, first matchup was part of episode two, five times with the name, Evelyn. Are you paying these guys? His first matchup was in a eight man battle royal and way back in episode two, which Bruiser Brad ended up winning that matchup. His second match was a four on four, Faces versus Freaks, where he teamed up with Kid Hades, Lord Draven, and Zach Graves to take on the team of Leo McKay, Hunter King, Lance Romance, and Vice. And Evelyn Reeves and his team ended up getting the victory there, so that was quite surprising. Very, quite, very surprising to see indeed. Lone Wolf sign out there in the crowd. We know who that guy's going for. As I said, this is not a championship matchup. Just a normal one-on-one. -on -one. Evelyn Reeves with a big opportunity here. Look at the size of Jay Wolf. Oh, my goodness. Starting things off with a huge... Oh, jeez. A second one? Oh, man, into the power slam. Good Lord. Jay Wolf really taking it to Reeves. And Reeves fighting back with an European uppercut. Big chop. And it's not really affecting the big man as he slaps him away. Oh! And a kick right to the chin puts Jay Wolf down on the mat. And these two guys going at it right now. Oh man, Jay Wolf's gonna roll outside the ring. And Reeves tries to get a hold of him, but he can't. And Wolf is like, look, I don't have to put up with this. I'm the champion. I'm, I'll get counted out and retain my championship. That's for sure. Look at the sleaze coming in. Seb Abbott not happy with his loss at Gold Rush. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, man, picking Reeves up off his feet with that shot. Into the corner he goes. Oh, oh man, Alabama slam. Center of the ring, and Wolf is not going to let the distraction from Seb Abbott interrupt his matchup. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Hanging him out. How the ref didn't call this match I don't know we saw the same thing happen to Corzo and and Siler Jordan when Duke Zenda came out oh going down for the pin the fans booing 
Jay Wolf, just a one count. Stomping away now on the back. Look at this. The strength just deadlifting Evelyn up. And he drops him hard with a power bomb. And Wolf saying, You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Sliding back in is Reeves. Gonna send Wolf into the corner. Oh! Nice move there. Follows it up with a huge 450. Not even a one count. Man, oh man. Reeves picks up Jay Wolf. Turns him to his back. Look at this. Holy cow, what a move. And now Reeves ready to put the Maverick champion away. Got him up. Driver. Holy Toledo Omega Driver right on the Blackwire Authentic logo. And just a two count. That was very close. What would that do for Evelyn Reeves if he gets a victory over the Maverick champ? Oh, man. Up top is Reeves. Touching his toes and hits a massive moonsault. Jay starts to stir. My goodness. Jay taking the feet out from under Reeves now. Delivers a huge right hand dead center of the ring. Look at this spinning power slam. And Wolf goes for the pin. One, two, no. And look at Wolf's face. He cannot believe it. He has got Reeves up. And just pumping that iron, baby. Drops Reeves face first onto the mat. And this could be it for Evelyn Reeves. No, he dodges Jay Wolf's attempt and ascending the Maverick champ over the top rope. Reeves slides out. My goodness. Maybe Jay Wolf is a bit distracted up from Seb Abbott coming out here. Causing issues. Stomp to the head. And look at Reeves. Instead of going for the pin, he's trying to get in these fans' faces and in their heads when he should be doing the same to Jay Wolf. Both men go for a headbutt, but Reeves lands. And a big clothesline sending Jay and Reeves down to the mat. He's got Reeves way up. Oh, man. Delivers a driver, and that could be it. Oh, his foot must have been under the rope. He gets just a one count. The ref not really there to see if, if Reeves is ready to tap out. Doesn't look like it to me. Shots to the midsection. Jay, though, quickly has Reeves up on his shoulders. Like a lost lamb, and he drops him over the top rope. Scratch of the eyes by Reeves, good grief. Into the corner now. He's gonna spin the big man around. Uh-oh, this might be the end for Jay Wolf here tonight. Reeves gonna drag Jay away from those ropes and hook the leg. One, two. Whoa. Whoa. Very close. Reeves back up top now. We're going to see it again. Big moonsault from the top rope. He lands it for the second time in this matchup. Instead of going for the pin, he catches a clothesline there from Jay Wolf. Elbow to the side of the head. And there's that spinning power slam again. Look at this, all 380 pounds of Wolf right on the abdomen of Evelyn Reeves and one boot to the face. The fans are really booing right now. Wolf going for a pin off of the deadlift power bomb, but Reeves is able to get out. My gosh. These fans are not happy about Jay Wolf. Big chop 
Oh, and Reeves with the reversal chop. Uh oh. Look at this. Look at Reeves. Oh my goodness. He's trying to pull Jay's arms out of his socket. And then a big knee right to the cheek sends the big man down. And a huge splash off the apron. My goodness. So maybe they're not taunting Re uh, uh, Wolf. Maybe they're booing Evelyn Reeves. Did Wolf just become the people's favorite? It must, it must be. It sure sounds like it. Back into the ring now. Reeves quickly to follow. Looks like he's looking for something, but instead goes for the pickup and spends a little bit too much time. Oh, no. There it is. Full moon. The spike. From Jay Wolf, and that could be it for Evelyn Reeves. No. 2.9%. That was insane. So close. Scratching the eyes again. Oh! Reeves going for a clothesline to send Wolf over the top rope, but Wolf hangs him over the second rope. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Reeves now, look at this. He has got him up. Oh my God, just throws him down like a sack of corn. Back and forth we go. Shot to the gut. Oh, then he walks it through, good grief. Picking Reeves up now. And another spinning power slam. Down for the pin. Could this be it for Reeves? No. This guy really showing what he wants to do. And that's win that Maverick Championship. But that's not on the line tonight. Into the corner. Reversed back into the corner. Wolf spins Reeves around and he's busted open now. Oh my goodness. Wolf probably not too happy about that with a big slap right to the chest. Look at this DDT. That looked like possibly Wolf was going to hit him with a power slam, but Reeves turns it into a DDT somehow. And reversal by Wolf. Reversal by Reeves. Uh oh. Uh-oh, this can't be good. Hanging him over the top and knee right to the side of the head of Jay Wolf. Wolf now being drug around, stomped to the midsection. And he's gonna follow it up with a bunch of kicks to the kidneys, one right to the chin, before trying to break his wrist. Come on, ref, let him let him go. Knees to the back. My gosh. Reeves, though, not done yet. Gonna hook up. Wolf. Oh, turning Wolf inside out with that clothesline. Arm drag there from Wolf. Face first into that top turnbuckle. He's gonna spin him around. And this time there's no fight from Evelyn Reeves. Oh boy. He has got him up top. Center of the ring drops Reeves right on his head. And by God, that's gotta be it. One, two, three, and it is. Holy cow, I thought the distraction from Seb Abbott was gonna be a problem for Jay Wolf, and it seemed to be that way right at first, Here is your but winner, that Jay did not deter him. Ladies and gentlemen, he is your champion, your Maverick champion, and the winner of this matchup, bloodied and beaten, Jay Wolf. That is going to be it for our show tonight. 
Thank you all, and stay tuned for night two of Deuces Wild.